I was working for an IT company for non-stop eight years and I badly needed a vacation. I planned to go to Nepal to the Annapurna base camp. At the same time, on May 27, 2008, I put up online a website named Hyderabad Adventurers. I wanted more people from Hyderabad to join me on this trek. But I was disappointed. I went all alone. I met my friend Jagan in Nepal and together we did this Annapurna base camp. I came back from Annapurna base camp and I was in for a reality check. After almost one month, there were only two members who registered on the website. I waited. I waited for a long time. And it was March 2009 that I announced another trip, a little more ambitious, this time to the Everest Base Camp. Everest Base Camp is considered one of the top 10 tricks that one should do in your life. I was fortunate to find three people from Hyderabad and one from Bangalore. We started training at KBR Park. We started walking and jogging until one Montana friend told us, find steps. I discovered hillocks which had steps, Maulali, Amugura, Khadme Rasul, Bhongir Fort. We did training on the steps, carrying heavy backpacks. It was tough, but it was helpful. We could make all the way to the Everest base camp. This was the second trip of GHAC. We came back to Hyderabad. We did a press conference. Next day, it was all in the media. And the memberships shot up. People started joining. Then I started conducting local events. Treks at Maulali, Treks at Bhongir, Treks at Anantagiri. Most of my time, after my office hours, I used to speak to people, tell them my idea about adventure. So that's what, when I speak about going to Gandipet, while my idea is doing boating and rock climbing, my friend would think of a mutton biryani picnic at the lake. I explored many places around Hyderabad. And then I realized that as a child, I have done this. I have climbed all the rocks, all the trees, and I was rediscovering my childhood again. I lost all of it when my focus changed to education and a career. I lost all those magical moments, the magnificent moments for a profitable and a practical life. But I'm glad I rediscovered I'm back with nature and adventure. I started continuing these activities. I wanted more members to join. It was tough. A day job, evening work on promotion, on the weekends, Saturdays and Sundays, conduct activities, back to back, non-stop. Started with trekking, hiking, scrambling, what you see in the picture is scrambling. All the skills I learned was in the NCC. I was selected as the best carrot from Andhra Pradesh to represent at the Republic Day Camp. I was put through one year of training. This training is my foundation that I used to start this club. As I was conducting events, it was no more possible for a single man to handle it. I needed more people. I needed more helping hands. At this juncture, I looked out for potential leaders, people who can be potential leaders in the future and conduct activities. I formed an organizing committee. Next was training these leaders in all outdoor skills. I also designed an outdoor leadership workshop course, which consists of 
skills that are required in the outdoors. Map reading, first aid, navigation, emergency handling, search and rescue. This was the first batch. Six, we have 60 trained organizers in GHAC who conduct such events. We do about 10 to 15 events every week, a total of 50 to 60 per month. And I was also fortunate to find Colonel Rajiv Sharma, who comes from the Army background. He is the chief trainer of GHAC, and he helps in teaching outdoor skills. Trekking, hiking, scrambling. Monotonous, people were getting bored. We want more. And then we started technical bouldering. Technical bouldering is very challenging. What you see is Ranga, who leads our technical bouldering team, demonstrating. We have full safety equipment, and it's a safe sport, but requires a lot of hard work. We graduated to rappling and rock climbing. This is in our very own city. This is Maulali, just a few kilometers from Tarnaka. We wanted more. Yes, off we went to Kamshet in Pune. Paragliding. Want more? River rafting. Even more, we want to get, go underneath the ocean, scuba diving. And we do a lot of trekking expeditions to Himalayas. Adventure is not our main category. We also love nature. We do awareness on nature conservation. We do events on bird watching, butterfly watching. We study flora and fauna. We have come up with a website where we have cataloged all the local flora and fauna of Hyderabad. This is the graph of how the members increased. You can see there's a lean period when I started the club. Nobody was interested. And suddenly, after doing two trips, one to the Annapurna base camp and to the Everest base camp, you see that it goes up. Membership joins increased. So I would not consider Hyderabadis laid back. They were adventurers from within. They didn't have a platform to come out. And GHAC has given them this platform. I don't know how many of you will join after TEDx, but I'm expecting it to shoot to 500 per month. The journey was not easy. A lot of ups and downs, a lot of challenges, a lot of tense moments, a lot of tough times. The biggest tough time was I couldn't find time for myself because I had to show something. I have to lead by an example so others can follow. And unless and until I do it, others cannot follow it. The toughest time was I didn't have any personal time for myself in these two years. But now, since I have an organizing committee, I just manage things. And I'm having fun time now. There were tense moments too. In one of our trekking trips, we lost two persons, and I had to lead a search party in the night. With all the wild elephants roaming, it was tense and scary. It was at these times that I questioned myself, why am I taking this risk? Is it worth the stress I'm taking? But because I love Hyderabad, I want you people to come out. You're already adventurous from within. That was my spirit in bringing out GHAC. There were risks, and we had taken precautions. Fortunately, there are no accidents in GHAC, major accidents till now. One drop of blood scratch, that adds to the fun. We ensure that all organizers take training to ensure all aspects of safety are addressed, including first aid. We create bonds among people. People from different backgrounds, different professionals, different age, when they come, they stand on the same ground. The major success of GHAC is because of this. You can create lasting friendships here. You can see the best of people, the worst of people coming out here. 
there were significant ideas that I would like to share with you. One of the biggest ideas I did is I kept the platform open. Anybody and everybody can come and share anything they want. I tried it out and if it worked, I implemented, I made it a club policy. So we got a lot of feedback. All the members are from educated background, IT professionals, doctors, engineers, all of them gave feedback. And that's how added to the value of the club. This was one of the toughest trek we did, Nalchiwat. We went in the wrong season. It was raining, but we completed it without any accidents. We also do this survival training. Going into the jungle without anything and living off the land. We use foraging, we use techniques we learn in auto skills to source water, to source food. You can see that one of our organizers is trying to make fire by friction method. You just use natural elements what you find in the jungles. And the second photo that we had made tea in just a polythene bag and that's our cup which is given by the nature. That's me down there. I'm trying to get out some ants because ants are considered to have a lot of protein so you can live on it. GHAC has brought a lot of changes. I have seen people transform their lives. Alim Khadri, when he joined GHAC, he was very shy and timid. When he joined a trek with me to Bongir Fort, we were in the middle of a climb. He was very enthusiastic. In fact, he was pushing me up. In the middle of a steep climb, he panicked. He started crying. It was a sorry state to see him there. We have to put rope and pull him out. But today, Alim Khadri is a courageous outdoor leader. He leads the bouldering team in Hyderabad. He conducts rock climbing for people. And Alim Khadri is a typical guy from the old city. Okay, he's just 10th pass. But he has a lot of potential as an outdoor leader. And GHAC is providing him that. Another member I would like to mention is Mr. Ranjan Sood. He's young at heart, at age 54. When he joined GHAC for the first trek, he was told, we don't take baggages. He got disappointed, but he never gave up. He insisted, give me a chance. We allowed him. He was so passionate that he was always in the front in all the treks. He not only got fit, but he made it to the Everest-based camp. The man in the white shirt. So that's how GHC is changing lives. This was the recent trip to Everest-based camp where all 12, including four girls, have made it from Hyderabad. This is the largest contingent that have went ever. I love Hyderabad and I need your support as well. So next time when we talk about going to Gandipet, everyone should think of doing an adventure, adventure sport. It can be kayaking, boating, rock climbing and of course mutton biryani because that's our heritage. We can have it after we have done with the activity. This is GHA's mission. GHAC is integrating into the very fabric of the city. Our mission is to take people outdoors, to get the best out of you, put you in some action, give you a chance and opportunity to see your other side. So whenever and wherever there is a need, and if it matches GHAC's vision, you only have to call us. Thank you.